Hey guys, welcome back to the Rider Rock Waxing channel. I am excited. The ski season is starting to really get going now. I've got a family set of skis in here. So I've got the ladies set and the gents set just here. Some Solomon X-Wing 168s um, behind me. Again, if you haven't checked out the channel, do a go across. This is just my mini build, which I'm building kind of like a race road car, um, something I've had for nearly 30 odd years. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got DIY garden builds, uh, one wheeling, mountain bike builds, BMX builds, you name it, it's all on this. And just go along, have a look, hit some likes, hit some subscribes, comment if you like, and give us some feedback. But more importantly, this is where it all started, and this is what I love doing. I'm gonna turn these skis into something quite special, make sure they are detailed, polished, sharpened, and uh, are ready to fly. We've got a bit of P-Tex to be doing on these X-Wings. Like I say, they're a 168 ski, kind of a real piece ski, uh, matching Solomon bindings. They're in very, very good condition, um, but we've got some nasty gouging just here, um, which is sort out. So I'm gonna pop you in my hand. We're gonna have a detailed have a look at these bad boys i'm gonna go from there so here we go solomon x-wings these are a 168 in length the top coats are actually in very good condition um we will just tidy up a little bit and like i say all we still do is i'll give these a good polish up as well um base of the skis aren't too bad this is the worst ski got a bit of a gouge just here Trying to see if that is a bit of a core shot, so I might need to get the soldering iron out because I can just see the base core just in there. Um, so we'll melt some core in there, then we'll put some PTEX on top just to stop any moisture because I think the PTEX won't stick to the core and it'll end up just coming out much probably. It's not too deep, but uh, that's what I like to do. Um, and as you can just see, they just basically need a good base scrape. You've got some ridges just here. We've got material being pulled up here just from rocks and scrapes. And the rails are rusty, which we're gonna get tidied up. They're relatively sharp, albeit you can feel the burr along the edge of the rail um, down into the base or the bottom edge of the ski. There's a big chunk there, which will get sorted out. Quickly flip the other one over. Again, dry patch there just in the middle so we'll get that uh, laid down we've got a high spot just there and a gouge there base scrape that one again just your standard rust all the way along the rails and we'll get that detailed as well so that's what we're going to do so i'll do a before and after um i am hoping to sort out the lighting in here i've obviously blocked it off a little bit from my own eyes um, so we can try and get some real definition difference. But uh, yeah, looking great. Plenty of work to do. So let's crack on and get started. I thought I'd just pause the video there very, very quickly. Uh, we're getting into this ski, but we do actually have a core cool shot. Um, I don't know if the microphone can pick that up, but basically that is the fiberglass, which is underneath this black base material. And what we normally, or so a lot of people do, is use PTEX. This is PTEX, and this is base material. And uh, a lot of people just drip the PTEX in, but it doesn't give it 100% seal, and there is chance that moisture can get in between that PTEX um, and obviously the base of the ski lifting the ski and delaminating it which is not what we want. If I see a core shot, this is core shot material, you need to use a soldering iron and you don't need a lot of it and you just basically melt it in. You don't try and fill all the hole, um, I would say maybe 30, 30 odd percent of it, 40 percent of it and then you'll fill it up with PTEX on top um, and that way then when you base scrape the ski you can get that actual base really nice and flat with the PTEX because that comes off because it's a slightly softer material um, and then you can wire brush it putting some structure back into that PTEX not that you'd massively notice it because PTEX doesn't absorb um, wax unfortunately uh, but the base material does so that's the important part I'm looking to seal this ski up so basically it will last for a very 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 very, very long time and uh, that's important to me and it's also very important to the customer PTEX base material I need a mask because this stuff is very dangerous and it absolutely stinks. So I will be ventilating my little workshop in here in a second. Um, I'm going to scrape out the base material in here and then we're going to simply just melt that in and uh, fill it up with PTEX. It's as simple as that. So let's crack on. Okay, that's gone. 
spawning really, really nice. I'm going to quickly uh, chuck up on the screen a picture of what it looks like just now. Um, so we've lost that uh, fiberglass base material and it's just nice and black. And then as it's drying, I just like to take off the excess off the top but with a Stanley knife so it's nice and flush like we've done and then I just scruff up the surface because it does leave quite a high polish as you can see the edge of the material there it leaves quite a high polished finish and I want that to be kind of rough and rugged so when we put the PTEX in it's got something to grip into a bit like keying up a surface when you're sanding something so I just go over it and gently just scuff up the surface with the Stanley knife blade and that way then we've dropped the PTEX in it will infuse into that and obviously causing a nice bond and uh, we can fill this hole up and uh, get it polished and detailed. Obviously I've already cleaned the base of the ski so before I go base scraping I will always do the edges first. I'll be doing the side and the edges and then I'll be dull and tipping the ends with the gummy stone to reduce any catching. So roughly around about five to six inches in um, and that way then we've got the actual rails themselves nice and sharp in the main kind of 75% of the ski especially over the binding area to give you that nice carving edge uh, and that grip when you do hit that un uh, uh, unknown ice which we've all done before. So there we go. That is base material, something that's quite straightforward. You can get it quite badly wrong, which I've done in the past. Uh, but yeah, quite pleased with that repair so far. We're going to pop some PTEX in um, and then we'll leave that. Uh, we'll scrape, just scrape off the excess. So it's nice and flat. And then when we do a base scrape. We can just give it another second detail. Back to time lapse, back to music. Let's crack on with this ski. So I'm having to do a little bit of a voiceover because I forgot to turn my mic on. But the base of ski is looking great here. Um, we haven't yet obviously waxed this ski, so we've cleaned it and detailed it. That core shot is a come up lovely. The edges are super sharp. And when I run my nail across them, um, obviously it tends to remove the nail. So we've got that sharpness in the side and the base, um, which is what we're basically after for those really icy days. Um, the core shot, like I say, is being filled up. We did a little bit more PTEX on the base. Um, There's a couple of other scrapes and scratches. We've got the ride wax waxing sticker there on the top, uh, which is absolutely key. And if you look on the tail here, there is actually some exposed core from the top coat. Um, it's obviously been hit in the chairlift. So what I'm going to actually do is just clean that up. I'm going to put some epoxy here down with some greaseproof paper. Going to mix it up. I'm going to lay that in, put the hairdryer to it basically melting the uh, epoxy into the ski and then sealing that top coat because obviously these skis will spend a whole week with in water pretty much and what we don't want is the actual uh, water getting in between um, the top material and the fiberglass and causing it to lift and blister and then affecting the ski future on and rusting the rail from the inside out that's something that we really want to try and avoid and that's what i like to do i've polished the top coat as well i've carbon teflon the top coat so hopefully to stop any snow from sticking to it um, repelling anything and everything it won't last forever but it just uh, is always a nice little touch uh, which i like to do in the rider waxing workshop so i'm rambling on let's crack on and get on with these skis
one Solomon X-Wing set of skis have now got the wax set and cured and we're going to get those off with my lovely sharpener um, but also we've got the ride wax waxing sticker on there so this is for the very elite few that come through this workshop get the skit stickers put on their skis so one you know who's done them two my telephone numbers on there and number three it is a very very limited membership to the cool club of the ride right waxing workshop and you know where your skis are when you go to the rack at the volley doos and there's thousands of skis you can distinguish yours if there's another set out there that are exactly the same um so yeah we've checked the din settings on these we've dull and tipped the ends this is the best bit now we're going to whip the uh, wax off and that is as simple as running that down through very much like so making sure we get all the wax off leaving that wax into the actual core of that ski um, and into those pores we're going to polish it up with some detail brushes finish it off with some zardos teflon coating to really protect those rails so between now and when the ski goes and hits the snow there shouldn't be any corrosion and i would always recommend if you can store your skis in your house at the back of your wardrobe in your spare room try not to put them in the loft because there's a big moisture change difference throughout the year and that's where they do tend to go rusty and obviously same in the garage so there we go me rambling on as normal let's get on and polish these skis up Solomon X-Wing set of skis looking mint. They are so good. That course shot is just phenomenal. I must say so myself. It has come up lovely. Let me just show you here. I'm going to have a quick look on my camera. You can see the sign. Sorry, the sign. You can see the shine on the base of that ski just there, there, there. It looks superb. Just running down that ski. Um, and the repair is just there you won't be able to see that very well because the, the light but it is a phenomenal i'll pop a close-up on the screen now of that repair that core shot because that is really really important i'll pop that just up here um because we filled that we've sealed that and we've obviously detailed the top coat we've sealed in that tail as well but both both skis have come up superbly well the shine on that is just fantastic what's really really nice is the edges have been polished they've been detailed and they're lovely and sharp we've got the rust off so these skis are as good as what they were when they were new if not better because obviously we've actually applied that wax into the base with a lot of heat we haven't just buffed it on we've actually embedded it into that ski so that should last for a really good week of epic skiing so guys there we are another set done in the ride right waxing workshop thank you very much indeed for tuning in there's going to be plenty more videos coming throughout the winter um, so yeah, hit that subscribe, hit that like, share with your friends and comment if you like, but until next time we will see you soon.